Chuck Schumer said Democrats won't make Barrett's religion an issue, but they should. They should make it an issue. If you have views that could influence the decision making process at such a in such a powerful position, then I'm sorry, your religion it matters. Don't tell me. Um, but yeah, thank you again for the super chat. Um, even though you're wrong. By the way, so, so I know some of you are going to say like, oh, these people are not going to let their views, you know, these people are not going to let their views influence their behavior, blah, 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 separation of church and state. You're an idiot, okay, if you think like that. I'm sorry, you're, you're stupid, okay? Every single one of these judges who have said uh, that their religious views are not going to affect the way they make, this, make decisions, if you look at the track record, <laughs> if you look at the track record, uh, you can see that this definitely has let them, you know, whether they're, you know, left leaning or right leaning, religious or not religious, how religious they are. If you look at the trend, yes, you could look, come up, we could show the exceptions, but even the, these judges, these, the highest position, the highest position in the ju justice system in the United States, the people that are so educated and they're supposed to be so objective about the way that they come up with their decisions. If you look at the trend, even if you put the exceptions aside, um, I mean, even if you could point to exceptions, if you put, but if you look at the general trend, you could see like, nope, it's very consistent with what you would expect given their religious dogma and whether you would, you, you find them right leaning or left leaning. So this is this delusion that you guys have that they were, are, they're going to be able to put their religious views aside is like, is moronic. Uh, this person is giving me super chats to call me dumb and wait, you are talking about religion and work ethic. You dumb. You dumb? Is that what you're saying? Thank you for shouting. Thank you for the super chat. Why are you giving me money if you hate everything I'm saying? Thank you so much, uh, sick boy meme, for the super chat. I don't know. You are talk. I don't know what your point is here. You are talking about religion and work ethic. You you dumb. I don't understand what you're saying, but thank you for the super chat. <laughs> um, all right, let's continue. But they should, because being nuts is relevant, Marr said in a monologue on Real Time. Yeah, they should. After hearing this week, the Senate Judiciary Committee set October 22nd. Oh, you want to support me? Oh, thank you. Even Well, I appreciate that. Even, if, even though you disagree with me, you want to support me? Thank you. That's very nice. Very tolerant of you. The Senate Judiciary Committee set October 22nd for its vote to recommend Barr's nomination to the full Senate with a final confirmation vote expect a, a final confirmation vote by month's end. Marr began his monologue by mocking threats from Democrats to pack the Supreme Court, saying it's already packed with Catholics. Look at this. Sarah saying her track record is crap, by the way, even without religion, LOL. She judged a workplace was not racially hostile to a man whose supervisor called him the N-word. Uh, even Kavanaugh disagrees. Fact check it. Yeah, her track record is actually really bad. Um, but I was, I was basically what I was saying is that even, even if you consider her track record is good, that doesn't contradict the points I was making earlier. I, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. Wait, you don't know what this, Tim Paul is saying? I don't know what you're trying to say. Look at this. Maybe Tim, maybe Tim Paul is a moron. T with Catholics, I, I don't King threats from Democrats to pack the Supreme Court, saying it's already packed with Catholics. Yeah, so Bill Maher is making a great point, right? So a lot of conservatives are trying to fearmonger and say like, oh my God, if Democrats win, they're going to pack the Supreme Court. And Bill Maher is like, yeah, it's already packed with Catholics. Yeah, what's up with the Catholics? And why is the Supreme Court is like so many, why does it have so many Catholics? And Bill Maher is like, this isn't like, this is not representative of the United States people. United States people are not mostly Catholic. Why is it all of a sudden being run? Why is, why is what is constitutional and not constitutional is being decided by mostly Catholics? 
Like, this is like Catholic domination over people. <laughs> and people are like, oh, they're being Catholic, doesn't matter. How could it not matter? Of course their ideology is influencing the decision-making process. This is like, where, like, where are the atheists on the Supreme Court? I, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to say. How do you not know? Look at the impulse, looking at the camera. I, yeah, I, you don't know because you don't know what he's trying to say because you're an idiot. You guys keep fear mongering about them packing the Supreme Court. And yet you got the, your religious dogma is overrepresented in the Supreme Court. How come you're not concerned about that? You're concerned about some, the fact, okay. So you guys saying these people's ideology is not going to impact, um, the way they make decisions, then why are you worried about the the Democrats packing the Supreme Court? You know, you're a hypocrite. You, okay, Tim Pool, Tim Pool looking at the camera. You don't understand what, they're what he's trying to say? He's trying to say that you're a hypocrite. That's what he's trying to say. I, I, are, you, are you for or against it? He's calling, oh my God, he's calling out the hypocrisy. What do you mean? Roberts. Thomas, Alito, Kavanaugh, Sotomayor, and Gorsuch, who I count as Catholic because he was raised Catholic and is now an Episcopalian, which is just a Catholic who flunked Latin, Mar joked. And once, That's when right. Mitch McConnell and company are done FedExing Amy Coney Barrett to the bench, seven of the nine justices will be Catholics, he continued. The two yeah, that's insane. Seven out of the nine is Catholic. What the hell is up with that? The Catholic dogma has too much of an influence over American people right now. I mean, these are, think about it. This is, and the people who are deciding who gets to have what rights, women rights, gay rights, trans rights, the vast majority of them are Catholic. How is that, how is that not insane? How is the United States, how is that a healthy society? How is that democratic? That's not representative of American people. How is that? Not, how, how did you guys let this happen? Like, obviously, there's a flaw in the system. Two other sitting justices, Stephen Breyer and Elena Kagan, are Jewish, as was late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, whose vacated seat Barrett would fill. Marr, in childhood, was raised as a Catholic by his Catholic father and Jewish mother, and now identifies as atheist. In his monologue, he argued that atheists are the fastest, the, the fasting growing, fastest growing denomination in the country and should be represented on the Supreme Court. We are 26% of the country. Where's our voice in the Supreme Court, Mars, out of eight? Yeah, exactly. We're 26% of the country. Not a single, rep yeah, not, not a single representative in the highest court in the land. And... No, and very, very low representation in almost anywhere else in the government, United States government. Atheists and atheists actually make better judges because they don't have to work to separate church and state. We're not torn between rational decision making and look at Mississippi Pitbull. He's such a moron. He's calling us woke, woke bitches. This channel. God damn, Mississippi, you, you're such a moron. I'm sorry. You're calling this channel, the channel that goes after woke dogma. You're calling us woke bitches. This is why, you know, this is why, uh, you know, right-wing idiots are just as bad as left-wing idiots, okay? Because left-wing idiots, they see everything you don't like, and they call you far right. And the right-leaning right idiots are j exactly the same. The right-leaning idiots, every time you say something they don't disagree with, they call you woke. So the right-leaning le leaning idiots, they call you woke as soon as you disagree with them. And the woke left-leaning idiots, they call you far right every time you disagree with them. They're basically the same. You have idiots on all sides. And what is in the old book of Jewish fairy tales? He added, Mar laid into Barrett. Oh, what was this? Torn between rational decision making and what is in the old book of Jewish fairy tales? He added, hmm. Mar laid into Barrett for her Catholic beliefs and anti-abortion conviction, saying she's been groomed since birth to overturn Roe v. Roe versus Wade. Yeah, that's her entire purpose. That's her entire purpose. That's why she's there for. She's like the Terminator, a yeah. robot programmed to fulfill one task, except she, had, she wasn't sent from the future. She was sent from the past.